the Celtics taking on the Warriors tonight. They're looking for their third straight win without KD on the floor. What do you think has been the biggest difference for the Warriors playing without KD? Well, I think trying to accept their roles once again. You know, this team last year was a team that was, you know, their play was predicated upon Steph Curry being a playmaker. So in order for them to get back to being successful without him being on the floor, I think you have to see Steph Curry having assist night up around eight, nine, even double-digit assists. I think if you see that, I think there's a lot of success that comes with that because now he, everyone keys on him so much during a game if he's able to dribble drive and break down the walls of the defense, the defense, now all of a sudden Clay Thompson's over. Now all of a sudden Draymond Green's over. And the, the end result is he will get the basketball back and be open. So I think him being a playmaker and a facilitator first opens things up for the Warriors and allows him to become this really blossoming offense. And then in the end, he can make his shots, which we know he can do. Yeah, the Warriors just seem to have found their sweet spot prior to KD getting injured. Yeah. Now they're having to find that rhythm again. What's it like to be in a team that has to find that rhythm at this point of the season? This, this is really difficult. And the most difficult thing that's going to happen is they may have to readjust themselves again once KD comes back uh, right before the playoffs or during the playoffs, hopefully. So it, it's very difficult, but I do think it's a little easier today than it would have been 20 years ago because most of these guys on the Warriors teams are ball handlers. Most of the dominant players are ball handlers. And any time you have the basketball in your possession, you have the ability to change the momentum of the game. So I think it's a little easier, but still, when you have a player like KD who they were playing through and is one of the greats of all time, it is so hard to adjust on the fly. But uh, they're doing a good job thus far. These last couple of games, they're playing like the old Warriors, which are pretty good Warriors. Pretty good, not bad. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> all right, moving on to the Celtics playing the first time for the first time since Isaiah Thomas expressed his frustration about some of Brad Stevens' coaching decisions. Brad, what can we expect to see from the Seas tonight? I see nothing wrong. See nothing wrong. With the Celtics. <laughs> Absolutely not. They've had a couple of tough games. Games they should have won, no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. I think they should have won the Phoenix game, and they should have won against the Clippers. But they're playing very well. you got to remember now, Al Horford's not, not been in the lineup. They need him in that rotation in order to have uh, the depth that makes them successful. But they played well. It's come right down to the end of these games. They gave away a couple of leads. They're on the road. All of these things play in to a little bit of a tougher stretch. I like where they're at, though. They're playing hard. They got great scoring. They got great coaching. It's just a matter of time. They'll be fine. No Don't panic. Fine. No panic. They'll get Horford back. They'll be fine. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brad. Brad Doherty with the insight here with us on Coast to Coast. You're sticking around, right? Yeah.